Hey everyone, Percy here, back with another quick Bitwig tip. Again, this is probably going to be most relevant for Bitwig newbies like myself. But anyway, the problem I ran into is that I wanted to, to record some audio and I wanted to record it in mono and I just couldn't figure out how to do that in Bitwig. Now, in most other DAWs, let's take this as an example, so this is Studio One, you can kind of do that at the track level. So. At creating the track already you have the option to either create a mono track or a stereo track and even if you've already chosen you can still choose to change it uh, from stereo to mono or, or vice versa by just clicking this here so now it's a stereo track now it's a mono track and here you can choose what channel it's recording from so either channel 1 which in this case is le the left channel channel 2 which is the right channel or whatever channel you want now in Bitwig it just didn't seem to work like that and it kind of doesn't so correct me if I'm wrong but I believe that technically speaking in Bitwig there is no such thing as a mono audio track or a stereo audio track there is just an audio track so that's the difference however we should still be able to record either in stereo or in mono right well there is okay so here we are in bitwig we are on this track right here audio 2 which obviously is an audio track and here in the inspector let's go to the input settings let's click the drop down menu and under audio inputs you can see that we have a choice of one which is hardly a choice um, by the way I'm not completely sure but I believe that by default this is what it looks like um, but of course we should also have an option to choose a mono input and we can the trick in Bitwig is that we kind of have to set it up first so let's go up here to the menu by the way there is another way of getting there I will show you that in a second let's go to the menu and then let's go to settings and let's go to audio and then here you can see input buses we at the moment we only have one input bus which is stereo in and we've seen that before so let's go back to the track input options here it is stereo in so that's the only input bus we have currently but of course we can add more buses so let's go back to where we were by the way I just told you that there is another way of getting there and that is just to simply choose this option here add bus makes sense right now stereo in obviously is a stereo input bus and it's recording through channels 1 and 2 by the way there are eight channels to choose from here and that's because the audio interface I have connected currently has eight inputs so depending on the audio interface you use the number of channels to choose from may differ now let's add another input bus let's add another stereo input bus first and as you can see automatically um, channels 3 and 4 are selected but we can change that to 5 and 6 or 7 and 8 or 1 and 2 don't know why you would do that but we can uh, we can also change the name let's change it to stereo 2 all right and I think you can guess where we're going with this because of course we can also add a mono input bus uh, let's change the channel to channel 1 and this is now a mono input bus which records audio through channel 1 so let's change the name to mono left okay let's add another mono input bus let's choose channel 2 and let's change the name to mono right so now let's go back to that track let's again open that drop down menu and now you can see that we have four different options stereo in stereo 2 mono left and mono right now let's choose mono left so if we press record now we will record a mono signal and the source will be channel 1 okay so that's how it works that's how you record mono in Bitwig so hope this helps by the way, as I'm growing as a Bitwig user, I will do more and more of these tips and tricks videos, tutorials. I also have some other uh, music production related stuff on this channel. So also tutorials, uh, reviews, gear news, you name it. So if that interests you, then consider subscribing. Okay, so thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.